It's awesome to stand here in front of you. It's really amazing. And definitely, I'm sure that you can help me. I'm absolutely sure. Today, I want to share some thoughts about the autonomous driving together with you. You all know that since 100 years, we are driving by ourselves. But with the technology ch changes, with the supercomputers, with the Internet of Things, with 100% connectivity, every everything changed disruptively. And the autonomous driving will come, definitely. So with these supercomputers, we are able to make it happen to be in 2021 for fully automated driving and a highly automated driving. We start a long journey. Ten years ago, we start with the first uh, self-driving car, BMW. We drive that on the test track on the Nürburgring. Uh, full speed and the test drivers are not allowed to follow these cars. On the CES 2014 and 16 and 15, we present fully automated driving cars, test cars at its limits to understand what happens with these cars and to understand in extremely situation what we have to do. And we showed a safety i3 360 degrees collision avoidance vehicle because we have to have the safety aspects as well as the maximum speed and the limit uh, at the limits of these cars. We start this journey with the first series production in 20, uh, 2015 with the seven series, uh, with the first remote control parking. With this first approach, if you have a small garage, there's no problem anymore. Let's have a look into the video why. That's today. So that's today. What happened tomorrow? I believe we can drive cars without any drivers. And I want to show why. I want to join you to my journey to the automates, to the autonomous driving aspects. So let's have a look what does it mean uh, for what does it mean for us? So first of all, we need uh, high-performance supercomputers. We need artificial intelligence. We need uh, computer vision. And you are all aware of these technologies. We need validation me methods, sensor fusion, and so on and so on. There are a lot of technologies which we need. And if you are looking to the customers, what is the customer's benefit? The customer does not like to drive in a traffic jam. He wants to have more comfort, he wants to have more time for, I for him, more safety and more flexibility. What are the benefits for the community? If we are making ride sharing, for example, and we make uh, fully autonomous driving, self-driving cars, we create less accidents, less traffic, less parking, searching algorithms, and less CO2. CO CO2. So there's a big benefit for the customer and a big benefit also for the community. This is chart I brought with you to share what is the main task. And in the community of the automotive industry, we are talking about different level, levels. These different levels start with level zero. My personal set one is one of these cars. No driver assistance, no uh, electronics in. This is level zero. So with level two, it's a partly automated driving. We are talking about temporary hands-off, temporary eyes-off. Nobody in the world uh, 
creating more than level two. So the whole automotive industry is in level two and in the next years. But we are on the way to go to level three. Level three is the highly automated driving. And that means hands off, eyes off the road. In level four, it's a fully automated driving. The driver can sleep in his car and we are on the way. So if you have a long journey, hundreds of kilometers or miles, then you can sleep in a car, but you have to be in a car. And in level five, we are talking about the fully automated driving. We are talking ab about a pure driverless car. So nobody has to be in a car for urban situation. This is our challenge. Level four and five, these are our, our really tasks. And therefore, we have to do a lot of different things. Uh, we have to do the electric and electronics. We have new architecture in a car. We have to do, uh, create a backend solution with hundreds, with hundreds of petabytes. We have to have a full-blown sensor setup and sensor fusion. We have to create a motion control. And finally, we have to have a backend security. Backend security as well as vehicle security. So anybody here in the room who are working on security issues, let me know. Uh, we need the artificial intelligence. And in the middle, we have to have a environment, environmental model which includes the HD map and a supercomputer who takes everything from the street. And if we are looking into an urban situation, then you can see what we have to teach the computer. So if you are looking with your experience of 10, 20, 30, 40 years experience to learn all about these scenes, then you understand what we have to do to teach a computer. You have to understand where is the position of the car. You have to understand what is the speed of the car. You have to have uh, the information about the speed limits, the pedestrians. So everything, you have to have a carpet. And if you're looking into this scene, we see that there is a lot of to do. I tried to start the video now. So with computer vision, artificial intelligence, sensor fusion. You recognize what happens on the street. You see where is the green carpet, where you can drive. You have to be aware about pedestrians. You have to be aware about the obstacles on the street. With all these knowledge, you are able to drive a car from A to B. Without that, you cannot do that. So this is our task and therefore, we need the supercomputers, we need the software, we need the IT, the 100% connectivity. And we have to team up our BMW team with a partnering. And we start with a partnering together with Click. It works. With a cross-industry collaboration. It is not possible to do this job only in the automotive industry. We brought together Intel and Mobileye. Three industry leaders together are working. That's BMW, Intel, and Mobileye. And we want to create a solution for 2021 in our next, on the next decade. And we want to create a non-exclusive platform, industry platform, that everybody can develop on this open platform, on this non-exclusive platform and we want to share this information, we want to share this platform in a car, we want to share this platform in a backhand and we want to need your help to create the right tool chain to bring this in a good shape. And we need more than creating this platform. We need a HD map, a high definition map. The accuration is 10 centimeters, otherwise you cannot control the car on the street. So we need the collaboration together with here. That's uh, the reason that we acquire uh, together with uh, Audi and Daimler, uh, the company here. We need a infrastructure as you need. You need the 5G. 
for the bandwidth which you need, you need 5G. We need the 5G for the latency, for the reliability, and we need this for the data race to the connectivity. Uh, we create, in two weeks ago, we created a consortium about, uh, with Intel, with Qualcomm, and Huawei to make it happen in the year 2021. And we need test fields. We need a lot of test fields to see, uh, to make tests on the street. We need it in Germany, we need it in the US, we need it in, in Israel, as well as in China. And we need a lot of help of uh, the legal department, homologation, certification, legal requirements to do our job. So be behind that, that we need a lot of techni techni te technical things. We need legal requirements. We need homologation. Uh, let's have a look what does it mean for the customer. Click. So in the morning, you can decide what you like to do. The car will come to you autonomously. You are prepared to take a ride. You can decide to do a joy of ride by yourself and driving by yourself. So you can start the ride and enjoy it. Unforeseen rocks, for example, are detected by sensors, send it to the backend, and with the swarm intelligence, send it back to our fleet. So in a traffic situation, you can take over, you let the car take over, and you can make video calls uh, with content sharing, watching televisions, uh, watching videos. And if you don't like, or if you more like, don't like the self-driving cars, you can take over the car, drive wherever you like. So it's easy to do. And if you are at the destination, of course, the car can park by itself. So there is no time which you are missing to find the next parking lot. And the last destination you can do with your personal travel assistant. So there's a broad possibilities and challenges for the customers. The customer. Thank you. So the customer can choose whether he wants to do his joy of ride or on the other hand, to use a self-driving car. To our 100th birthday of BMW, we create the vision of the future of self-driving cars, of autonomous vehicles and bikes. We need your expertise. We need the supercomputers. We need 5G. We need test fields. We need an environment model to make it happen. And we need a cross-industry collaboration which helps us in the automotive industry to be prepared for the future. We need a non-exclusive industry platform. Otherwise, we are not able to create a standard in the next century. And I believe all together we can shape the future and we are able to do it together. And uh, therefore, I want to say thank you very much for your attention. Thanks. Bye.